Hello friends. I hope you are doing well and uh, today's video is for how to calculate the heater and cooler for uh, the hydraulic power unit. So let's begin. Here is a spreadsheet uh, for calculating the correct size of heater and cooler. So the basic formula for calculating these things is heat is equal to or heat dissipated or heat input is equal to MCP delta T where M is mass, CP is specific heat, delta T is the temperature difference. So based on this equation, we can calculate heater and cooler both, but uh, we need to consider some constant and some thumb rule for our calculation. So uh, let's start and how this uh, spreadsheet can help us to select the correct size of heater and cooler. Again, the same thing, uh, the spreadsheet is available. Uh, the link of uh, to download this spreadsheet is available in the description of this video so go to youtube and you can easily find uh, the link of link to download this spreadsheet so let's begin uh so very first thing is the volume of tank um we it, this spreadsheet is in uh, metric unit so the tank uh, size is in liter i'm considering um taking the example of 250 liter let's say type of fluid i'm taking the example of hlp type of fluid again uh, i will create a new video on different types of hydraulic fluid and their characteristics but i am taking here hlp so once i'm selecting hlp the gray area cells i don't need to enter any value on this uh, these are the calculated or uh, some constant value coming up based on your selection so CP value and the rho, rho is the density for this fluid. So that, that comes based on the type of fluid you're selecting. So for HLP fluid, the CP value is this and the delta is 0.88. It's in kg per liter. And the temperature difference I need uh, to create in the HPU is, um, I figure out it's like 10 degrees Celsius. So I entered 10, I can change it to 11. And based on that, my size of a heater will change and the timing of course this is a very important thing on in which time you want to create this kind of uh, temperature difference in uh, hydraulic tank so i'm taking 2.5 hours you can take one hour but this will increase the size of heater of course so in standard we are taking two hours or maybe 2.5 hours sometimes and this gives you the some rough idea or you can say well theoretical value of um, heater required in kilowatt or as well as in hp so uh, this is the size of uh, heater you may need and you can easily go to any oem again i'm not promoting any oem but uh, you can check the data sheet and uh, you can select your heater accordingly for converting uh, liters in gallon i have uh, um, I just put one equation over here so you can easily convert your uh, liters in gallon. Let's say 250 liters is around 66 gallon. But uh, yep, uh, you can change uh, any of this detail and you can uh, get your uh, kilowatt rating or HP rating to select your correct heater. In the same way for calculating cooler same thing how much heat we want to dissipate um, from the oil so it's a thumb rule sometimes uh, some guys taking 35 percent of uh, motor size sometimes uh, if it's big hpu or uh, or some factors uh, engineering department considered then uh, it's 40 percent but it's always between 30 to 40 percent so i'm assuming any number right now uh, let's say 20 kilowatt and uh, the flow of oil let's say it's 50 lpm uh, again the flow is in lpm so make sure you convert the flow from lpm to gpm if you have gpm value and the temperature difference we are getting from this is 14.4 so we we may need this if we want this kind of uh, temperature difference then uh, yes uh, we need this much size of uh, cooler for our uh, hydraulic power unit in the same way this is for oil so if you want to uh check how much water you need then the same way uh the how much amount of uh, heat you want to dissipate from uh, water then uh, it will calculate the same way like let's say i'm taking 20 
kilowatt that that much amount of heat i want to taking off from the water then uh, this is the value and uh, let's say flow of water i'm selecting all it's always about 50% uh, of oil flow but if you have different flow then you can enter this value and you can, you can easily calculate the difference in temperature how much uh, the value of delta p delta t will change by giving this much amount of water so this is a pretty simple calculation you can use this uh, spreadsheet and you can take reference uh, of this calculation and this will give you uh, almost correct value to select heater and cooler i hope you like this video please subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos and uh, take care and uh, have a good day